is called Hello, and it is hands-on early literacy for little ones. It's a pre-reading program for very young children. It teaches them a number of concepts and skills that they'll need. It teaches them sounds of the letters, the letter names, rhyming, and of course we pack in all kinds of interesting facts about science, and most of all, fun. chart today, except we have a, something different that we're going to be doing. The letter A has two different sounds. It has the A sound that we have with ant, ah, ah, ah. It also has the says its name and says A, like aphid. So today we're going to be using the aphid for our alphabet chart and practice using that. And we say the letter first, then the sound, and then the animal name. Ready? A, 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 aphid. B, 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 bear. C, 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 cat. D, 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 dog. E, 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 elephant. F, F, fish. G, 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 gorilla. H, H, H horse. I, 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 iguana. J, 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 jellyfish. K, 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 kangaroo. L, o, o, lamb. Nice job, you're getting good at the alphabet chart. Today's letter is A. A is an easy letter to say. Your tongue doesn't do any work. You just kind of get a smile, and then your, the A comes from the back of your throat. A, 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 A. Not much work anywhere. You can't even feel it when you say it. So that's how you say the letter A. Let's sign the letter A in American Sign Language. Put up your hand like this and close it into a fist. And make sure that your thumb is on the side and your palm is facing out. This is the letter A in Sign Language. to learn how to write the letter A. We're going to learn how to write both the capital and lowercase letters. When writing our letters, always remember you always go from top to bottom and left to right. For capital A, we're going to start at the top of our paper and draw a diagonal line going down and to the left. Now we're going to go back up to the top of our paper and draw a second diagonal line starting at the top and going to the right. Now we're going to draw a little bridge in between connecting them, starting at the left and connecting to the right side. And we have our capital letter A. For lowercase a, we're going to start by making a circle. And you're going to make that circle going to the left, all the way around and connecting back. We're going to draw a little line on the right hand side of our circle. So start at the top and connect it all the way down. You guys did a great job. Go try this on your own with some paper at home. Today's word of the day is aphid. Let's take a closer look at the word aphid. Let's say the letters in the word aphid. A, P, H, I, D. Now let's say the sounds. A, P. Wait. We don't say aphid. We say aphid. Oh, I have a secret for you. When P and H get together, you know what sound they are? They're the F sound. So we're going to say the F sound for the PH. A, F, I, D. Good. Let's slide them together a little bit closer. A, F, I, T. 
good. Slide them closer. Aphid. Aphid. That's the word aphid. The word of the day is aphid, but in American Sign Language, there is no sign for aphid. It is spelled out. A P H I D. So, to learn a sign today, let's learn ladybug. Ladybug is two signs put together. So take your A hand and put the thumb at your ear and then bring your thumb down to your lips. That is the sign for girl or lady in this case. Then the second part is bug. So this is the sign for three in sign language. Thumb out and forefinger and middle finger up. Put it at your nose with the thumb at your nose and bend the forefinger and middle finger down twice. That is bug. So let's put the two signs together. Lady, bug. Lady, bug. Good job. We're gonna rhyme the word aphid two times. The first time we say the rhyme, close your eyes and listen for that id sound in the rhyme. The second time we say the rhyme, open your eyes and try to read along. Aphid, aphid, oh forbid. Quick, call a ladybug. Look what she did. She got rid of that aphid. Munch, munch, yum, yum. Aphid, aphid, oh forbid. Quick, call a ladybug. Look what she did. She got rid of that aphid. Munch, munch, yum, yum. I have a special guest for you today, Ava Aphid, and she has a story that she's going to tell you. Okay, let's listen to Ava's story. There's nothing on the slide, Ava. I don't see anything. What, what is it? Oh, there's a black dot? Oh, I see a tiny little black dot. That's how big you are. You're a tiny little insect, Ava. You want to talk about some of your special body parts, and you have Antenna, the black arrow is pointing to the antenna, just like the ants. Six legs, just like the ants. You must be an insect, just like an ant. And what's that where the red arrow is pointing to? A cornicle? What are those for, Ava? Oh, you secrete sort of a little waxy substance that has a, a yucky smell to bugs. That's very clever. They don't like the smell, so they'll leave you alone. You're a smart insect, Ava. And you spend most of your days just sucking the sap from plants. You must love plant sap. It's delicious. I haven't had any, but it must be good. How do you get the plant sap out of the plants? Oh, I see. You have a mouth part that pierces like a needle. It goes into the leaf and then, and then it's like a straw that you suck up the juices. Oh, it's like a milkshake. Perfect. That's a good way to get plant juices and you get the sap. I hear a story, Ava, that you secrete extra plant juices and the ants take the little drops of the plant juice and they take that back to their nest. I see the black arrow, see the little aphid giving a little drop of plant juice to the ant. That's very, very kind of you, Ava. Oh no, what's happening? A ladybug, ladybugs eat you? Oh, no, 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 that's, oh, I'm so sorry, Ava. Don't tell Ava, but I bet the plants like the ladybugs because they keep the aphids from sucking the juice out. Oh, my goodness, what's going on? Oh, look at that, I see, Ava. The ants came to your rescue. They're taking the ladybug away. They don't want the ladybug to eat you. They're taking good care of you. They remember who gave them the good sap juice to drink and they're gonna take care of you. I see why ants are your BFFs. Oh, and you live happily ever after, Ava. Thank you for sharing your story. 
You can find this book at your local library, and The Grouchy Ladybug is a wonderful story. In fact, it's one that I recommend that you have your kids act out with you because it has grouchy ladybugs that don't want to share their aphids that they're eating. It's a fun story. Alrighty, you guys ready? We're going to sing a song together. This is to the tune of, Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? We're going to put the words right over here next to me so that way you guys can all sing along. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Oh, where, oh, where has my little aphid gone? Oh, where, oh, where did it be? This tiny green body, his long antenna. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Oops, a ladybug ate him. tips at home after our aphid unit. The first tip is talking about how animals come in different colors. For example, aphids come in red, yellow, orange, brown, black, all different colors. And talk with your kids about other animals that are the same species that come in different colors. For example, cats, dogs, things like that, so that they understand that just because an animal is one color, not all species are going to be the same color. This is your science tip. The literacy tip is to do more acting out of the stories. Um, one of the stories that you can get for this uh, aphid unit is the grouchy ladybug. And that is a fun one to act out because who doesn't like to be a grouchy ladybug? So that would be a fun story that you could read and then act out with your child. Acting out stories is a wonderful follow-up to reading stories. And those are your tips for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Next time, we're going to learn about be for bear. Until then, let's sing our goodbye song. This is how we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye.